Right now, tonight, it's the schools, not students, receiving report cards which local districts made the grade. Plus, lawmakers agree on a deal to fund repairs to American Family Field, keeping the brewers in Wisconsin for years to come. And in our nation's capital, a massive show of support for Israel from Jewish groups and lawmakers with hopes that hostages will soon be freed by Hamas. It's all ahead on News 3 Now at 10. Today, schools across Wisconsin got their report cards from the Department of Public Instruction. In those report cards, there's data from multiple school years, which gives an accountability score for each Wisconsin school district. Arman Rahman breaks down the numbers for us. Charlotte and Eric, the report card is split into four categories. Achievement or actual test scores are lower before, than before the pandemic, but growth from the 2021 to 2022 school year weighs heavier on the district's overall grade. Statewide, 94% of school districts either met, exceeded, or significantly exceeded expectations. Now, you may look at Madison's overall score as 68.3 and think that's closer to a D or an F, but DPI officials say look deeper. I wouldn't advise looking at a number that could be stamped on it to be the holistic understanding. When you look at growth, Madison Metropolitan School District saw higher standardized test scores in English Language Arts or ELA and math than most of the state. Those MMSD Interim Superintendent started, Lisa Quistad said in a statement that they're, quote, continuing to see gains in the academic outcome of students. Janesville had lower test scores in their report cards, but the superintendent there says their new math and ELA curriculum have already increased district scores and, quote, have yet to reveal their full potential. But the DPI leaders say school communities should look past the numbers at the actions that need to be taken. The difference between getting a getting a paperback from a teacher that says 78 on it and getting a paperback from a teacher that says 78 and then actually gives you advice on how to make it better. A big piece of advice they have is to improve what they call chronic absenteeism, the amount of students who miss more than 10 percent of school days. We know that there are so many so many barriers and challenges that our students are facing that that we can't address in the classroom unless we get them into the classroom. DPI officials said a big part of that is making sure students feel like they belong in school with policies and mental health care and addressing staffing shortages. And staffing challenges can contribute to absenteeism because of think, looking in, think in, in respect to the um, disruptions in relationships between students and adults. The DPI says this is the first report card that does not include test scores from before the pandemic because they want to continue looking forward. Armand, thank you. It is November. You'd never know it with the warm temps that were out there today. Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti as our first warm forecast. Gary? The temperatures right now are about as warm as they should be for the daily high temperatures this time of year. So we've got another spell of mild weather that we're going through, but it'll only last a couple more days. As we take a look at the time lapse from the WISC TV Skycam, looking to the east, beautiful sunrise this morning. Just a few cirrus clouds coming in late in the day. Um, we'll call it partly cloudy skies overnight, but uh, you can see on Doppler track, not a drop of rain or a flake of snow anywhere across the state of Wisconsin. High temperatures today got into the 50, upper 50s here in Madison, 58, but Janesville hit 61, Boscobel was at 64, it was 61 at the Baraboo Dells Airport, and right now we're still close to 50 in Madison with a temperature of 49. Uh, temperatures are mainly in the 40s to lower 50s. It's actually a little warmer north and west of Dane County than it is uh, to the south and east. Right now, 48 degrees in Edgerton, but it's 51 in Sauk City and 50 degrees in Wanakee. Look for skies to be partly cloudy to mostly clear overnight. Low temperature dropping to around 43 degrees. Later on, I'll take a look at how mild it'll get for the next couple of days and how cold it'll get after that. Gary, thank you. Lawmakers at the Capitol have approved a package worth more than $600 million to keep the Brewers in Wisconsin through the year 2050. The funding plan will be used to renovate the Brewers Ballpark, American Family Field, including winterization that would open up the facility to host more year-round events. A deal was struck after an agreement to raise the amount the team is contributing and lower the cost to state taxpayers. The bill now goes to the governor to be signed. In a statement this afternoon, he says, quote, I've always believed that we could work together to find common ground and build by partisan support to keep this team and economic driver right here in Wisconsin and today that is exactly what we did. A bill passed today by the state legislature would overhaul Wisconsin's liquor laws and create new regulations for private event venues like wedding barns. The measure, which had both bipartisan support and opposition, would create a new division within the Department of Revenue responsible for overseeing liquor laws. It would require wedding barns to limit the number of times they serve alcohol per year or get a liquor license. Liquor licenses aren't currently required for those venues. Many wedding barns contract with
licensed vendors to provide alcohol. The bill now goes to Governor Evers' desk. Overnight, a fire destroyed a commercial building on Madison's east side. The firefighters were called early this morning to the East Town Office Center. That's on Mendota Street. It took them four hours to extinguish the flames. Luckily, no one was hurt. While we were at the scene, we spoke with one of the owners of a photography business affected by the fire. She just wants to get her gear back from inside. I'm going to try and be hopeful and hope that I can salvage as much as I can. And I just want my camera back. The Madison firefighters say some hydrants were giving them issues, leading to difficulty in putting the fire out. Some weren't supplying any water. Others were, but at low volumes. New at 10, first responders in Jefferson County say they rescued an elderly hunter last night who got stuck in a swampy area. This happened between Johnson Creek and Watertown near County Highway Y and Emerald Drive. The man had been stuck for an hour before one of his friends found him. Rescuers say the man was stuck in mud and waist deep water. He was also suffering from hypothermia. It took 30 minutes for crews to free him and another 40 minutes of carrying him on a backboard to reach the ambulance. He was sent to Watertown Hospital to be treated. A suspicious package found near the UW-Madison campus end of State Street closed down that area for little more than an hour this morning. Students and community members were notified to avoid the area around Library Mall after the package was found. Multiple alerts were sent through the WISC alert system I'm asking those nearby to stay away. An all clear was given at 1130. We've reached out to UW Madison police to learn more about what the suspicious package was, but haven't heard back. Dane County authorities say a 77 year old man was killed in last Friday's deadly car crash on Madison's north side. He's been identified as Roderick Anderson. Two cars crashed Friday on Packers Avenue near the intersection with Manley Street. Another person was seriously hurt, but we haven't received any updates on that person's condition. The crash remains under investigation. In Rock County, authorities say an armed man robbed the Orfordville Dollar General store. This happened shortly before 2 o'clock this afternoon. No one was hurt. The sheriff's office says a man pointed a handgun at the cashier of the store on North Main Street. However, authorities aren't sharing what, if anything, was stolen. The man left the store driving off in a silver four-door sedan. Anyone with information who can help the sheriff's office identify a suspect is asked to call Rock County Dispatch. That number is 608-757-2244. Beloit City Council President says she will not run for re-election next year. Regina Duncan filed a declaration of non-candidacy today for Beloit's upcoming election. She says she wants to see others get involved in local government. Duncan was first elected as city council president in 2016, becoming the first African-American woman to serve in the role. New tonight, more federal money is coming to a service that offers free tax preparation for certain Dane County residents. A $55,000 grant from the IRS will boost quality control and improve volunteer training at the Richard Dilley Tax Center. That center, which has been open for more than two decades on Park Street in Madison, offers free tax prep help for low-income families, seniors, and those with disabilities. It's open from the end of January through mid-April. Last year, over 2,500 returns were filed there, resulting in $3.71 million in refunds for local taxpayers. Demonstrators packed the National Mall in Washington for the March for Israel, rallying support for the Jewish nation as it continues its war with Hamas. Event officials say 290,000 people were in attendance there. Natalie Brand was there and shows us the message being sent about the war in the Middle East and anti-Semitism. Tens of thousands came from around the country to the nation's capital in a massive show of support for Israel. So to be here with all these people today and stand in solidarity of Israel and to just be together, it was really important to us. Speakers included top U.S. lawmakers who denounced the growing anti-Semitism at home and around the world. History shows that when the world ignored anti-Semitism in the last century, it led to the worst catastrophe in human history. Six million Jews murdered in the Holocaust. Families of those held hostage by Hamas called for their immediate release. Hang in there, we're coming. At the White House, President Biden said he's speaking to those involved in the crisis every day. I believe it's going to happen, but I don't want to get into detail. On Tuesday, the White House and Pentagon confirmed that U.S. intelligence supports Israel's claim that Hamas has a vast tunnel system under hospitals to store weapons and hold hostages. 
But the administration also says it does not support airstrikes on hospitals, including Gaza's largest, Al Shifa, even though they say Hamas is using it as a command center. We do not want to see a firefight in a hospital where there are innocent civilians. According to the Hamas-controlled health ministry, dozens of patients at Al Shifa have died since a generator ran out of fuel Saturday, including several babies. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Washington. Authorities in Ohio say six people died in a fiery bus crash that shut down the freeway and sent 18 others to the hospital. One of the six people killed, three were teenage students. A charter bus was transporting students from a school in eastern Ohio on I-70 in Etna when it was rear-ended by a semi. Several passenger vehicles were also involved. The bus was traveling to Columbus for the Ohio School Boards Association Conference. Well, a testy moment on Capitol Hill during a Senate committee hearing with Teamsters union leaders. A Republican senator from Oklahoma appeared to want to get physical with Teamsters President Sean O'Brien. Yeah, their argument was over a tweet that O'Brien had posted back in June. In it, O'Brien called GOP Senator Mark Wayne Mullen, quote, a greedy CEO, CEO who pretends like he's self-made and offered to fight him, quote, any place, any time. Sir, this is a time, this is a place. If you want to run your mouth, we can be two consenting adults. We can finish it here. Okay, that's fine. Perfect. You want to do it now? I'd love to do it right now. Well, stand your butt up then. You stand your butt up. Oh, hold on. Big no, hold, stop it. Is that your right. solution? Every no, no, sit down. Oh, sit down. Okay. You know, you're a United States senator. Sit down. Active. Oh, okay. okay. Sit down, please. Well, you recognize that third voice as Ber Senator Bernie Sanders, the chair of the Senate Labor Committee, took Senator Sanders nearly six minutes to get those two men under control. More local stories are straight ahead. In Janesville, there's been a manufacturing merger which city officials hope to be a hit with the economy. The details behind two companies becoming one and how it'll revitalize some jobs in Rock County. You're watching News 3 Now at 10. Winner of the best evening newscast by the Wisconsin Broadcasters Association. Your family's year-round comfort is our year-round commitment at RG Heating and Air Conditioning. We install quality train equipment and service all brands so your home's furnace and AC will perform their best year-round. RG Heating and AC. Big, beautiful sectional for just $9.99 with the free ottoman. Big deals. Black Friday deals. All month long. Up to 60% off list. Only at Slumberland. Relax in this Lazy Boy recliner for just $4.99. Yep. Update your bedroom with this modern bed for just $3.98. Deals so big. Prices so low. All month long. But don't wait, because deals this great won't last. The one and only Black Friday all month long sale. Only at Slumberland Furniture. Heck yeah. Who's always behind the scenes helping parents and caregivers find quality rated childcare that fits their family's needs? DCF, we're your trusted source in support of quality childcare. Learn more at qualitychildcare.wi.gov. Progress means producing renewable fuels for trucks on the road today. We're partnering with farmers to develop these fuels using everything from plant byproducts to cow manure and then using those fuels to help lower the life cycle carbon intensity of the transportation industry. Driving the world forward today while forging new roads to the future. That's energy in progress. Salon Pos, makers of powerful pain relief patches for 89 years, believes in continuous improvement, like rounded corners that resist peeling, with an array of active ingredients and sizes to relieve your pain. Salon Pos, it's good medicine. Okay, so I'm not sure I could even talk about this, but U.S. Cellular has a new deal where you can get literally any Samsung Galaxy for free. You're so right. That's a totally awesome deal. And it's just in time for gift giving season, too. My business sense says that's a great deal. I'm gifting mine to my son. Wow. Excuse me, it's work. Talk to me. What a boss. <laughs> new and current customers can get any Samsung Galaxy free. Get the gift of connection at U.S. Cellular. At RG Heating and Air Conditioning, our promise to you is 100% satisfaction guaranteed. Guaranteed service, repairs, and replacements. Installing quality train equipment. RG Heating and AC. We'll always treat you like family. Guaranteed. Christmas came early on the Jennifer Hudson Show with the queen of it all, Miss Mariah Carey. Just the queen, period. It
It's all Mariah, all show. You really love Christmas like I love Christmas. Yes. On the next Jennifer Hudson Show at 3. You're watching News 3 Now at 10. The Universities of Wisconsin and the Department of Safety and Professional Services are offering a new tool to help students transition into the workforce easier. The Licensed Educator Access Portal, or LEAP, allows higher education partners throughout the state to interact with licensing systems, speeding up the licensing of students. Department of Safety and Professional Services Secretary Designee Dan Harreth says they've seen about a 25% reduction in wait times for students. It's an essential fix for students relying on the completion of this process to begin their careers. We need workforce. We need a healthcare workforce. And the faster we can get students through their educational program and into the workforce, it's a win for the state. A full rollout of LEAP is expected to be in place for the spring graduating class of 2024. The merging of two Rock County manufacturers is bringing economic promise to Janesville. Serta Simmons Bedding is opening a new 500,000 square foot facility. Both Janesville and Beloit have been home to the mattress manufacturers for decades. Company officials believe bringing the two teams under one roof will satisfy operational needs. The new building comes after the company filed and then emerged from bankruptcy earlier this year. The importance of this plan to our company, to our associates, to our retail partners, and to this community cannot be overstated. Serta Simmons officials know that the consolidation of the branches will not eliminate any jobs. Instead, they hope to bring more jobs to Janesville, expecting the move will result in a rise in business. If you park on the street here in Madison, Fitchburg, or even Middleton, you're going to want to make sure to check that you're on the correct side of the street. Alternate side parking rules go into effect between 1 a.m. and 7 a.m. now. It is simple to remember, on odd-numbered days, park in front of odd-numbered houses. For even-numbered days, park in front of even-numbered houses. This is to help snowplow crews clear the streets now through March 15th. Even if there's no snow on the ground, you are still asked to follow these rules. Violating it could get you a $20 ticket. The White House has unveiled more than $6 billion in funding to create climate resilience. Well, the announcement came as President Biden delivered remarks on the fifth national climate assessment, also known as the NCA-5. It assesses changes in the climate across the U.S. and the national and regional impacts of those changes. This assessment shows us in clear scientific terms that climate change is impacting all regions, all sectors of the United States, not just some, all. Now, according to a fact sheet, the NCA-5 shows the U.S. facing at least $150 billion in costs due to climate change-related extreme weather events per year. Well, take a look at this. An ice rescue instructor sharing this footage that he captured from last month of himself and his wife ice skating on a frozen translucent lake in Alaska. The instructor says a rare ice window formed because of an unusually cold but dry transition to winter, allowing for the lake to freeze over with a clear view to the bottom. The combination of, of being able to look down three or four meters and see what's on the bottom, I've never experienced that in, in the 12 years that I've been doing this. Well, those conditions only lasted for about four days before the lake was covered by snow. Chief Meteorologist Derek Canalti here with our first round forecast. That's it's, a beautiful sight. Yeah, to see. It's, it's very rare because what you, you need to have is you have need, need to have calm lake, mm -hmm. you know, so the, the water doesn't get mixed up to make it cloudy, and you need it to freeze very quickly. Right. And so they've had that combination in Alaska. They've also had a lot of snow too. Hey, some that's spectacular. Snowfall. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's very really? rare to see. So although I think it'd be a little freaky, you know, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> skating on the ice cool. beam, look down. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, that ice breaks and you know where you're going. Well, let's start off by taking a look at Winter Weather Awareness Week in Wisconsin. Doesn't feel like it out there, but let's take a look at the types of winter weather bulletins that we have. Um, winter storm watch is issued by the National Weather Service when the potential is there for a winter storm. So at that point, you need to be prepared. And if you're making travel plans, you might want to reconsider or delay or uh, maybe uh, travel a little more uh, quickly before the storm arrives. If the storm does not reach warning level criteria, a winter weather advisory is issued. This is for, for moderate impact events, uh, maybe three to six inches of snow or less than a quarter of inch of ice accumulation. Uh, but this is going to certainly affect travel, but as long as you exercise caution, allow yourself extra travel time, then you probably will be okay. Winter storm warnings, of course, this is where a winter storm is likely. Here uh, in southern Wisconsin, usually six inches of snow in eight hours or 
8 inches in 12 hours will give you a winter storm warning. Uh, also freezing rain of more than a quarter of an inch in ice accumulation. This is going to cause significant travel impacts. You really should avoid travel if possible. If you do have to travel, uh, allow yourself a lot of extra travel time. Uh, make sure you have uh, people know where you're going in case you get stuck because it may be a while before uh, you can be reached uh, if you do get into trouble. Now, tonight's weather photo, this comes from Devil's Lake. Kurt took this picture. I think it was taken from a plane. This is just a beautiful shot of Devil's Lake. That's a part of the state that just is, I, I think, is just so underrated when it comes to beautiful weather. Uh, send us your weather photos through the First Warren Weather and Traffic app, or you can email us directly at firstwarren at wisctv.com. We've been getting some really nice pictures lately. In our First Warren Three Things to Know forecast, well, above normal temperatures again for tomorrow and Thursday. Look for highs lower 60s tomorrow, mid 60s on Thursday. We were only in the upper 50s here in Madison, although other places did hit 60, but it'll turn much colder on Friday. Temperatures drop by over 20 degrees, highs only in the lower 40s. And below normal temperatures are likely for the middle and latter part of next week with high temperatures by Thanksgiving only in the mid-30s. So above normal temperatures the next two days, near normal temperatures from Friday through Tuesday, and then below normal temperatures as we head toward the Thanksgiving holiday. But you can see on Doppler track, it's quiet around here. That's good news as you head toward a holiday, having quiet weather. Uh, planning your day for tomorrow, Sunny skies to start out with. Temperatures warm quickly into the upper 40s by 9 a.m. By lunchtime, we're looking at temperatures in the upper 50s and high temperatures probably topping out in the lower to middle 60s across southern Wisconsin. Plenty of your day in Dane County. High 59 Mount Vernon, 59 in DeForest, 58 in Marshall, 62 in Madison. Uh, looking for mostly sunny skies, so a very mild day. Uh, average high temperature is 46 this time of year. We'll hit 64 with gusty southerly winds on Thursday. A slight chance for a shower Thursday night as the cold front comes through. We drop back to 42 on Friday, upper 40s for the weekend with lots of sunshine, maybe some rain or snow showers on Monday night into Tuesday morning, and then quiet weather as we head toward Thanksgiving, but it'll be cold, maybe a couple of flurries by Black Friday afternoon. And coming up in sports, the Wisconsin men were badgered by Providence, why their game in Rhode Island was really never much of a game. That's next in sports. News 3 Now, first warm weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Stanton Optical is the best value in eye care. We do the math, people. For $79, you get all this. That costs over $200 at Walmart, over $300 at Lens Crafters, and over $200 at America's Best. When it comes to value, Stanton Optical is the top bird. Pick and Save gives you so many ways to save. On top of our lower than low prices, enjoy over $500 in savings every week with digital coupons. Earn fuel points to save up to $1 per gallon. And with a Boost membership, you'll save even more with double fuel points and free delivery. Plus, our weekly sales will keep your budget merry and bright. So get rewarded and save. Pick and Save, fresh for everyone. The next generation of streaming is here. Introducing Spectrum One Stream with internet, advanced Wi-Fi, mobile, and now TV. With the all-new Zumo Stream Box, it's streaming simplified. Get Spectrum One Stream with fast and reliable internet for $49.99 a month. Free advanced Wi-Fi, a free unlimited mobile line, and a free Zumo Stream Box when you add Spectrum TV. Go to spectrum.com slash stream, a Spectrum store, or call 833-976-4999. At Informed Choice Insurance Agency, we're proud of our our five star reviews. Andrea was amazing. From her knowledge to her skills in navigating complicated and intimidating waters, I cannot emphasize enough how much she helped me and my family. Get five star service at Informed Choice Insurance Agency. At Lawton Cates, your life counts is more than just a slogan. It's being prepared for all the challenges you may face after a serious injury. It's confronting every aspect of your case with honesty, integrity, and innovative solutions that have earned us a reputation for excellence in representing the injured. It's no wonder so many clients refer their own friends and family to our team of dedicated professionals year after year. Your life counts. Lawton Cates. Call today for a free consultation. From Lincoln Center Theater that brought you The King and I and South Pacific comes a sumptuous new revival of the most perfect musical of all time, My Fair Lady. At Overture Center, November 21st through 26th, tickets at overture.org. For 46 years straight, more of you have trusted Ford F-Series trucks to help save the day, stretch the weekend, 
pull, or tow just about anything, anywhere. That's because they're built Ford tough. And it's why Ford F-Series are America's best-selling trucks 46 years straight. And for that, we thank you. Now lease a built Ford Tough F-150 STX for $3.99 a month for 36 months. Only at your local Ford dealer. Stanton Optical is the best value in eye care. We do the math, people. For $79, you get all this. That costs over $200 at Walmart, over $300 at Lens Crafters, and over $200 at America's Best. When it comes to value, Stanton Optical is the top bird. The Badger men's basketball team was excited when their non-conference schedule was released. Tennessee, Marquette, a trip to Arizona, big-time games against big-time programs, and a lot of early measuring sticks on how good this team can be. Well, up next, Providence, and that look is all you need to know on how this one went. Friars jumped out to a 7-0 lead. John Blackwell dials one up from deep. He finished with 11 off the bench and scored seven of Wisconsin's first nine points. But this was ugly from the start. Badgers trailed by 15 at the break and never really had it. Devin Carter with the and one. He dropped 21 on Bucky. They fall 72 to 59. The Badger women looking to move to 3 0 for the first time in six years. Wisconsin hosting South Dakota State first quarter, and Sarah Williams was going to work. She spins and wins for two plus one. Williams finished with 11 points and five blocks. Then later, it's Ronnie Porter spotting up and splashing home the triple. Team high 17 from her. She also added in six assists and five steals. Badgers stay perfect with a 66-64 win. This was the scene on the ice the last time Wisconsin women's hockey faced off against Ohio State. Pure celebration as the Badgers won their seventh national title. Now the st stakes aren't as high this weekend, but it's still a huge matchup. It's number one versus number two in the rankings, and Mark Johnson's squad hasn't won in Columbus since 2020, something this group plans to change as they renew their rivalry with the Buckeyes. It's always a super special weekend whenever we're playing Ohio, no matter what we're ranked. I think we're always usually two of the best in the country, and so um, it's always going to be a gritty weekend. This rivalry's huge. I mean, I'm sure that they're out for blood after we just took the championship from them. So I think it's always been a rivalry, but especially after this past year, there's even more, you know, more um, intensity coming from both sides. Fresh off a bye week, the Badger men's hockey team is rested, healthy, and ready for everyone's best shot now that the number one team in the nation, Bullseye, is on their backs. Wisconsin heads to Michigan State this weekend for another ranked showdown in the Big Ten, and Mike Hastings' squad knows two things about the Spartans. They're going to be a tough out, and they're about to be the hunted now that they're the top team in the land. Yeah, the target gets bigger, right? Uh, you know, when you're number one, teams want to beat you. I think we felt that when we went into Minnesota as the number one team, we wanted to sweep them. And um, it's for us being in that position now where we want to invite that. Um, you know, we want to be excited about it. And, you know, we're getting every, every team's best. And we're excited about that. And we're ready to show them our best, too. And we're back after this. This week's hy V Hot Deals. Buy a Hormel Cure 81 whole boneless ham, get a free turkey. Buy two, get two free unselect Pepsi products. And hy V canned corn or green beans, just 49 cents, only at hy V. It's a robotic money expert. Clever. How do I start a savings habit? Famous cabbage. Savings habit. Shaving rabbits. Tech can make life simpler, but when it comes to savings habits, nothing's as simple as BMO. A BMO savings account helps you build the habit with a cash reward every month you save. Cash reward? Ingenious. Sardine Fest. This year's top prize goes to BMO. I'm just in it for the saving. But it's nice to be recognized. BMO. For 46 years straight, more of you have trusted Ford F-Series trucks to help save the day. Stretch the weekend. Pull or tow just about anything, anywhere. That's because they're built Ford tough. And it's why Ford F-Series are America's best-selling trucks 46 years straight. And for that, we thank you. Now lease a built Ford Tough F-150 STX for $3.99 a month for 36 months. Only at your local Ford dealer. 
Score the lowest prices of the year right now at Brothers Main's Black Friday sale. You won't find lower prices anywhere and enjoy our free delivery. Shop family-owned Brothers Main's low price guarantee on brands like Whirlpool, Maytag, KitchenAid, and Amana. Feel like family. Brothers Main. Friends of the Middleton Performing Arts Center present the greatest piano man, celebrating the world's greatest pianists and showmen, including Elton John, Billy Joel, Stevie Wonder, Liberace, and more. One night only, Saturday, November 18th. Tickets available online now. Here we go. I knew I could do it. I just had to take the first step. Hey, how's it going? Marcus, my boy. Welcome to my humble abode. Nice to meet you. When Marcus came to my door, it was my chance to give someone a safe place to stay for a little while. When you open your heart and home through foster parenting, you're helping the teen write new chapters, which can positively impact the teen for the rest of their life. Be part of the story. For more information about becoming a foster parent, contact Children's Wisconsin. Hot deals are avocados, two for just a dollar. Hy-Vee waffles, just 99 cents. And Tombstone, Jack's Rising Crust, Jack's Max, or Jack's Cheesy Pizza Dippers, just $3.98. Only at Hy-Vee. Following the path to UW's new image, Thursday at 10. Gary's back. One final check of the forecast. Looks pretty nice out there right now. Uh, the winds have lightened up a bit. Uh, live view from the Edgewater Sky Cam. We have partly cloudy skies, but it's a it's a high cloud base. Uh, high temperatures today, upper 50s in Madison. Many locations, including Janesville, areas to the west hit the 60s. And we'll see temperatures probably a few degrees above that for tomorrow. In fact, right now, we're still in the upper 40s in Madison. Um, a few places in the lower 50s, like Boscobel. Uh, right now, it's, four, it's 50 in Middleton, uh, 49 degrees in Oregon, 49 in Belleville. Uh, look for those temperatures to drop to the lower 40s and a high tomorrow about 62. Wow, unreal. Gary, thank you. Thanks for joining us for News 3 Now at 10. Do something good and we'll see you back here tomorrow.